Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make an elasticated puff sleeve. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. Tape measure. A pair of fabric scissors. A pair of paper scissors. Pins water erasable fabric pencil ideally a pencil should be used to draft a pattern but for tutorial purpose i'll be using this marker pen elastic bias tape a matching thread rulers and curves about a yard and a half of this chantilly lace fabric pattern paper. I'll be working with the following measurements. Bust circumference 39 inches. Sleeve length 23 inches. Around sleeve measurement 10 inches. I took the around sleeve measurement around my palm like this. So I have here my pattern paper which I've already laid out on the table and I will fold the paper into two equal halves like this. Next, I will draw a horizontal starting line at the top edge of the folded paper and this line is 3 inches from the top edge of the paper. The sleeve length that I'm working with is 23 inches. So I will measure and mark the sleeve length which is 23 inches. I will measure it from the upper starting line downwards. And I will square a horizontal line across. And this line is the aim of the sleeve. Next, I will calculate the cap height. I will use the formula bust circumference divided by 12 plus 1.5 inches and this is 39 divided by 12 plus 1.5 and this is equal to 4.75 inches. From the starting line, I will measure and mark 4.75 inches downwards like this. I will square a horizontal line across. This line is the cap height line. Next, I will calculate the arm hole depth using the formula bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches and this is 39 divided by 6 plus 1.5 and this is equal to 8 inches. I will measure and mark this 8 inches on the cap height line like this. I will now connect these two points together with my ruler like this, giving me this slanted line. I will divide this slanted line into four equal sections like this. From the first middle point, I will measure half an inch upwards like this and from the second middle point, I will measure half an inch downwards. I will now use this half inch point to curve the slanted line like this and create the armhole curve. This armhole curve is for the back 
To create the armhole armo curve for the front, I will come down by half an inch at the middle point of the slanted line. I will now draw the front armo curve using the half an inch point as a guide. To differentiate the two armo curves, I will use the red marker to draw the front armo curve. Using a tracing wheel, I will transfer the front arm or curve to the other side of the pattern. Remember that the pattern was folded into two equal halves. Next, I will divide the around sleeve measurement by two, and this is 10 inches divided by two, and this is equal to five inches. So at the end of the sleeve, I will measure and mark five inches like this. I will now connect these two points together like this using my ruler. Using a tracing wheel, I will transfer the end of the sleeve and the side seam to the other side of the person paper, like this. I will open up the sleeve and then I will make the tracing border using a ruler, a marker pen and a French curve. I will draw out the cap height line and the middle line, like this. I will now alter this basic long sleeve pattern into an elasticated puff sleeve pattern. The first thing I will do is to raise the top of the sleeve 1.5 inches. I will, now connect the, I will now connect it to the back and the front arm curves like this. I will increase the sleeve length by 3 inches because I want to be able to raise up the sleeve a little bit to create that puffy look at the end after inserting the elastic. I will now cut out the sleeve pattern, like this. Next, I will divide the sleeve into four equal sections vertically, like this. I will label the sections and these lines are the slash lines. I will now go ahead and slash the sleeve pattern like this along the slash lines that I just created. I will now go ahead and spread out the slash pieces on my lace fabric. So now, as you can see, I have pinned the pieces to the lace fabric and the fabric has been folded into two. I folded the fabric into two, selvage to selvage. If you want a wider or fuller post sleeve, then you should fold your fabric into two horizontally, not selvage to selvage, as I did in my own case. That way, you will have more, more fabric width and you will be able to spread out the pattern pieces more. I use 4 inches for the spread of each section at the end and at the sleeve head, I use 1 inch for the spread of each section at the sleeve head. I used half an inch seam allowance at the sleeve head, 1 inch seam allowance at the side seams and 1 inch seam allowance at the end. I will now go ahead and cut out the sleeve on the lace fabric.
I will notch the middle of the sleeve at the sleeve edge. One vertical notch will signify that this side is the, is the sleeve front. And two vertical notches will signify that this is the sleeve back. I will now go ahead and remove the pattern pieces from the lace fabric. Next, I will take sleeve pieces to my sewing machine and I will run gathering stitches at the top of the sleeve edge and I will gather the sleeve edge. So now the gathering has been done as you can see. I have gathered the sleeve edge of the two sleeve pieces. I have also aimed the lower part of the sleeve. So on the wrong side of the sleeve, I will measure and mark 5 inches upwards. I will draw a horizontal line on the wrong side of the sleeve like this. I will now go ahead and sew this bias tape to the wrong side of the lace on the top of the line that I that I've already drawn on the lace fabric. After sewing the bias tape in place, I will now insert this elastic into the bias tape, into the bias tape elastic casing that I've just created. I will do the same thing for the other as well. I have sewn the bias tape in place and I've inserted the elastic as you can see. I made it about 2 inches smaller than my around, around sleeve measurement and I did not forget to divide to include the side seam allowance as well. Next, I will do a French seam because the lace is transparent. So with the wrong size of the sleeve together, I will go ahead and sew the side seams in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I will now go ahead and reduce the half an inch seam allowance to about one quarter of an inch so I will trim off the excess fabric. Next, I will turn the sleeve to the wrong side. Then I will sew the side seam in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the other sleeve as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've given the two sleeve pieces a thorough press. We can now insert the armhole of the dress and this is the final look of the elasticated puff sleeve. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.